is about the presence of uh, Abdul Rashid Jainan. And I can tell you, again for the avoidance of doubt, that Abdul Rashid is not in Kenya at all, at all. We have got no reason whatsoever to harbor him here. We have got no re reason to even support if at all he has got militia, because he does not help us in any way. The other question that you did ask with regards to casualties as pertains to civilians. And I did mention that there is no Kenyan civilian that was uh, affected, either through collateral damage or stray bullet, which again, you know, contributes or, you know, uh, comes back to collateral damage. That one is clear. No Kenyans, and I'll repeat that, again, for the avoidance of doubt, that no Kenyan was affected in the last skirmishes. Now, regarding whether forces are being treated in our facilities in Mandera, according to Geneva in, in a Convention, that any injured soldier, that's according to convention, can be given medical attention not only by the forces that have caused that injury, but by even any other force that is in that neighborhood. All right? So when injured soldiers cross to be given attention, according to that convention, we are bound, because we are signatory to it, to be able to provide medical assistance. So yes, I am aware that 18 of them did cross, not as fighters, but as people who are injured in a conflict. And we are bound by that convention to provide assistance on humanitarian ground. We have done that many, many times, not just uh, between these forces in Somalia, but even other forces elsewhere, even when you're out in UN missions, we do that all the time. In the 80s, 90s, when our neighboring country in the West had issues, we did the same. And therefore, it is not necessarily unique or inappropriate, because this is what is done globally in line with the Geneva Convention. Hope that answers your, your question. So uh, we'll be doing this again, time and time again, so that we can continue talking as a country, talking as a people. Yes, Abuya? I know this was not about this, but are you able to talk to us about Capedo? What's happening down there in Hawaii? Capedo, 